It's great to be with you today. Thank God for you. I'm always grateful for you joining in this moment around God's Word and prayer. We are now in Proverbs 25. We're doing a proverb a, a chapter a day. Proverbs chapter 25 is unique because there are some Proverbs that have been in this chapter that have just been very meaningfully meaningful to me personally. Out of different hats I wear, different roles I play. First of all, um, I was by training an engineer. I studied the sciences as opposed to theology when I was in school, uh, not thinking I'd be a pastor someday. And I love the sciences. I love the field of discovery. And so I've always been fascinated with Proverbs 25, verses 1 and 2. First of all, we've just looked at a, a, a set of 30 sayings in the previous three chapters. Now we come back. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, compiled by the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Uh, Hezekiah lived quite a bit later in, in, in Jewish history than Solomon, but Solomon would have written these. They would have been in the folklore. They would have been uh, transmitted verbally from generation to generation, and he pulled them together, these particular pro proverbs. And it's interesting, he starts right out of the chute. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter and to search out a matter is the glory of kings. And so I, I love this. God hasn't shown us everything. This is part of scientific investigation, right? God's concealed things, uh, but it's, it's the glory of kings. It's the glory of the scientists to be able to search out a matter. This is like God's stamp of approval on human curiosity. This is like, this is like God just opening the gates and releasing us on the adventure to explore the world around us. Probably in the Hebrew understanding of this, it's referring to um, judicial matters that a, a king must investigate and rule properly. But the larger principle that God, is God's glory to hide things and it's our glory to seek them out. So th I just always enjoyed that verse when I put my scientist hat on. And then when I put my father and husband hat on, I love verse 11 of Proverbs 25 which says, like apples of gold in settings of silver is a ruling rightly given. A ruling rightly given. Or some, some translations go like this. Like apples of gold in settings of silver is a word fittingly spoken. So as a result of how much that verse meant to our family, my wife put together something that to this day is in the center of our kitchen table. It's uh, a setting of silver. This is just pewter, but a nice silver bowl with apples of gold. Uh, believe me, not solid gold. Plastic specials from Hobby Lobby or Walmart or wherever that my wife spray painted gold. This sits on our Christian table to, re to remind us of how important our words are in our family life. And like apples of gold and settings of silver, meaning a way of describing something of immense value, I mean, if these were solid gold apples in a solid silver setting, uh, this would be very expensive, really expensive. Something invaluable. That's how important our words are to one another in our family lives. Like apples of gold in settings of silver is a ruling, ruling rightly given. And so I want to encourage you, whether you have the family hat on or whether you have the vocation hat on, or maybe maybe you just like being curious about the world. Maybe you just, in your reading, maybe you like watching documentaries. Maybe you love figuring out how things work. Uh, it's God's glory to hide a thing, and it's our glory to find it out. Just go for it. And when you put on your family hat, just remember how precious those people are all around you in your lives. And there's nothing more precious than by God's grace being able to say right things at right times to the people near us. So let's pray to that end. Our Father, we thank you for this wonderful chapter and these amazing verses. We thank you. We just pray that you will bless everybody who's involved in medical research, in the sciences, and the engineering trades. Lord, teachers who are trying to improve their skills, all of us who are trying to continue to be, to be lifelong learners. I just pray you'll help us Help our curiosity not to wear out. Help us to continue to be eager to discover life as you've created it in the world as you've created it so marvelously. And help us 
when we are at home and when we are at work and these words that come out of our mouths help them truly to be like golden apples in silver settings. Help them to truly bring life and value to the people around us, we pray. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen.